Again, noted is a left ovarian cyst measuring 3.5 centimeters in greatest dimension. This does not appear significantly changed in size from previous study. But when did this happen and how come my doctor never told me? Good morning, everyone. So this morning, I have my 31-week appointments. Mom, I thought I didn't have school today. You do have school today. But I had to give Melly a bath because he woke up saying he couldn't breathe. All weekend, he's been coughing. But he hasn't. He didn't cough that much last night. But he woke up this morning saying he couldn't breathe because his nose is stuffy. So I gave him a warm bath. So... I'm going to get to my appointment. We'll get to Malachi. Tell the camera why I should let you stay home. Camera, why should I stay home? No, you tell me. <laughs> Mommy, why should I stay home? You tell me. You tell. Why do you want to stay home? Why do you want to stay home? Because I'm sick. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <coughs> There's tons of slimy stuff stuck in my neck and I'm always gonna have to cough up. And you don't want to do that at school? Mm -mm. What are you gonna do if you stay home? I'll just cough it up. What are you gonna do if you stay home? I'll just swallow that into my neck. I know but if I let you stay home are you gonna do something educational? Yes. Like what? ABCMouse.com. <laughs> ABCMouse.com? Yes! So I should let you stay home? Yes! And after that, can I go to my room? I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long. So, I'm on my way. It's my 31 week appointment. I'll be 32, what, in two days, I think? <sighs> Going in. See how the baby's doing. See what good news they have for me. I brought my book with me because it's always a long wait. Today I, it's my first day of my class. <sighs> Human resource. I'm starting my MBA finally. Pray for me. Everyone, I just finished my 31 weeks, five days appointment. And today we talked about um we talked about my problems first, of course. So my issues or my skin. So I have this thing right here that just developed since I've been pregnant. Um, she asked me if I wanted her to refer me to dermatology or if I just want to try Eucerin and see after a week if it clears up. If it doesn't clear up, then by my next appointment, she'll refer me to derm because it's not only here, it's also on my stomach and on my back. So. We'll see how you strain works. Another thing we talked about was I'm having anxiety. So she's gonna refer me to this class right here called Mind Body Medicine for Mothers to Be. And if the class doesn't work, then we'll treat it. She said we'll treat it, I guess with meds. Cause then it's real anxiety it's not because the baby's on the way which i think it's because of the baby i don't think it's real anxiety i don't know when i'm driving i just get really anxious and jittery or like this morning for my appointment i was just i don't know just really anxious just oh i don't know it's a weird feeling and i didn't have it with my son so it's definitely like <laughs> but everything i've had <laughs> It's like always, oh, it's normal. <laughs> Everything's normal <laughs> with this pregnancy. No matter what it is, it's normal. So, that's, I don't know. Be so 
so tired. Fatigued. My midwife, she gave me this, my record, to take to labor and delivery in case I go to labor. So I'm looking through my record, right? And I come up on this page that says, again noted is a left ovarian cyst measuring 3.5 centimeters in greatest dimension. This does not appear significantly changed in size from previous study. When was the previous study? How come nobody ever told me about this? And I made sure like it said my name, it has my social security number, it has my phone number, it's me, it has my date of birth. But when did this happen and how come my doctor never told me? At first I was upset, now I'm calm, but I'm still gonna call over to the doctor because I don't know what that's about. Time. Okay. We're gonna do the up and downs. Um, we're gonna work on that particular tendon there. Okay. okay. There's a, one tendon attaches right here. It's called the pronus brevis muscle. So that kind of feels tender. Mm -hmm. uh, up here, it's not so bad. The good thing is I can move those those bones, and it's actually pretty good. Okay. Okay. And I can also compress it, and it's good. Mm -hmm. But it's when you pull your foot up and out. Pull. Yeah. Pull. That's where it kind of gets you a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Pull out that way. That's the big one. Okay. Does, do you feel that pain at all? Not, no. Okay. No one else doing it right now. Way, huh? Hold your foot up. Keep it right there. Go ahead and pull down. Yeah. Yeah. And shot <laughs> there. Okay. Hold. Okay. Right there, too. Yeah. And that's exactly those muscles we're talking about, okay? Okay. Okay. Pronio muscles. Okay. Toes up. Hold it right there nice and easy. And relax. Okay, toes up. Nice and easy hold right there. And relax. There we go. Good. I'm so surprised toes it's up. swollen so long. Uh, it can <laughs> be. It's a tendon. It's only, it's been what, three weeks? Two weeks? Three, three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tendons can kind of take that long, especially that, that pronial tendon because it pulls. And then, you know, other issues. You know, you can have gravity pulling everything down already. You feel that already, right? Okay. Relax. Do you put your feet up when you go home? Uh, yeah. I'd recommend you do that, you know, especially after a long day being on your feet. Mm -hmm. Put it up, get the blood flowing back to your heart. Okay. okay. I put it on the bean bag, but that's not... Up. As long as it's above your heart. So if you're like sitting down or lying back, put it up so it's above it's your above heart. heart. So back. Okay. Yeah, I don't put it up that high. <laughs> And but relax. it's up. Yeah. That high. That'll help with the swelling quite a bit. Put okay. your toes down. Good. Nice and easy. And relax. Good. Point the toes. Good. I use my thumbs. They get worried probably. You know, you get a crib in Texas. Getting ice. Well, they're not. <clears throat> So, I'm just leaving my physical therapy appointment at Smart Clinic. My ankle is doing great. So I just want to get everybody an update that's been asking how my ankle's doing. It's doing good. It's still a little swollen. It still hurts a little bit. But it's getting there. Every day, it's a little better. I have another appointment next week. They're just going to make sure it's on the right track. They do a few stretches, as you can see in the video I posted. Um, but everything's going good. It's, it's getting better and better. I just have to be careful that I don't fall again. Which I won't. Oh, I didn't fall. I tripped. So, just be careful that I don't trip again. Because it's easy to sprain once I sprain it once. Oh, this is my foot. It's a little swollen still right here. This is the other one. I don't know Yay. if you can tell the difference. But this is them. This is my toes. Thank you.